So I have Black Ops 2 for the Wii U. I'm at, here's the menu right here. I'm filming this on the controller. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up. My camera is kind of getting out of focus. It has kind of a long load time, so I'll go ahead and jump past this. I'm going to go ahead and display it on the controller. Turn the volume up. Screen actually has a pretty good picture, even though it's not full HD. One thing you'll notice is that there aren't as many people online as there are in other versions. Probably because it's still hard to get a Wii U right now. The online service for this is Nintendo Network, which is a free service that comes with this. And developers can pretty much choose whatever features they want for it. So you can see right here, 1,625 people online. But this isn't some like cheap Wii version or low quality version. This has all the same features as the Xbox and PS3 versions. So I can go ahead and click public match. And there, it's already starting. I will be getting the Wii U Pro controller soon, so that might make it easier. I'll try not to shake the controller. This is kind of hard to play like this. One great feature I really like. Here, I'll turn off the screen on this. Hey, see, here's what you would see if you're just playing on the TV screen, which I'm not, so I'm probably dying right now. But you'd see your map right here. There's your kill streaks, your classes. You can choose your next class. You can scroll through those. You can look at the controls. You'd see your friends list. Oh, wait. Oh, that must display it on the TV screen, actually. I'll go ahead back to display. The controls are pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. So there's the controller. You can't really see it that well. So there's the home button, TV control button. At any time, whatever I'm doing, I can click that button and control the TV and the cable box with it. There's select and start. You have your stereo speakers on each side in the microphone. There's your NFC spot where you can put NFC devices on. I'm about to die. Okay, sorry, I had to get him. There's your dual analog sticks, your D-pad, AC adapter, headphone jack, L button, L, 
Z1, R, Z2, volume, infrared for the remote. Oh yeah, you also have a camera, which is actually a pretty nice one for video chatting. I don't know if you can see that. And yeah, it does have a stylus. Okay, so you have your actual box right here. You can see the Nintendo Network logo. Now these cases are blue, and they used to be white. Here's your list of controllers that are compatible. You can use the new Controller Pro, the Wii U Gamepad, the Wii Remote, the Classic Controller Pro, pretty much anything but the GameCube controller. Here's the back, not that exciting. You can see it says online multiplayer, add-on content, leaderboards, and voice chat. So the voice chat thing is actually pretty cool. The only complaint I have is that the voice chat could be better quality. Maybe they'll fix that, I don't know. And there is add-on content, so when they do the DLC, it should be for the Wii U also. Really short manual. I found out you had to get on Activision's website to actually get the full manual. Now these discs actually feel really weird. These are actually pretty thick discs. I think they're 25 gigabytes. Hey, that's all I have right now. Make sure to subscribe and everything so you can see my new videos.